common question is, what do these signs mean? We see them quite frequently on road signs in the UK, but let's say, what do they mean? So let's look, have, a look, have a look at that today. So these are emergency diversion routes, and they're used on motorways and other major roads um, when there's been a collision, perhaps, or there's some emergency road works, and a section of the motorway or a major road is closed off. Um, so let's say like here. Let's say this section of road here has been closed off. Maybe there's, um, just move myself for a moment, maybe there's been a road closure ahead due to some road works or a major, major incident on the motorway. So all this section is now closed off. So there's then going to be a sign that will say M23 closed and it might then say to rejoin, follow the squares. So we can then look at the road signs for those squares. So let's start here. So again, imagine the road's closed here. We're going to have this sign, M23 closed, to rejoin, follow the squares. We can see the squares on the road sign here. So we need to take the exit off the dual carriageway towards Crawley and Horsham. Then keep following those squares. So we want the blank square, not the black square. So we're going to be looking, looking to go towards Crawley, A23, which is going to be the right lane here. Keep looking for those squares. Here it is. So it's this lane or this lane. And now, follow the squares. Here it is again. So left lane or middle lane. Then next roundabout, the square is here. So we're going to be following the road ahead towards London and Gatwick. Keep looking for those squares. Next roundabout, following the road ahead again, towards East Grinstead and Gatwick. Next roundabout, again, following the road ahead, towards Gatwick and London. Here's the square. Just continue to follow those squares to get to your destination. It's basically going to help you rejoin the motorway further down to avoid the section that's closed off. So next roundabout, Ahead again, third exit, and now this time it's now telling us um, M23 on the sign. So this square is now going to disappear as the signs now tell us which way to go towards the M23. So we don't need squares anymore. So on the next sign, for the next roundabout, see the square's gone. There is a diamond, but that'd be for another emergency diverted route. This time just look for the M23, so following the road ahead. And then this time, um, M23 could be left or right, so you do here have to have a bit of, um, dare I say, it, common sense to realise which way you want to go on the motorway. If we want to go north towards London and Gatwick, just going left. If we went right towards Brighton, that's going south, which is basically just the way we came from. So we're going to go left towards London and Gatwick, back onto the M23. So by doing that, what we've basically done is we've avoided this section of the motorway here, that let's say that was all closed off, and by following the emergency diversion route, it's taken us via this green line, all the way round, and then rejoin the motorway further down. So there it is. That's what those road signs mean. Let's go back to the start to show you them again. So these emergency diversion route signs. Here they are. So hopefully that answers your question or your um, uncertainty. Um, any comments, please do leave them below, the video in the comments. Please do remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Hi guys, I thought I'd just show you this book to add to your collection. The New Driver's Handbook. It's a three in one book and it's got some pretty good reviews from a driving examiner and a driving instructor. It has over 800 practice theory test questions, common driving test faults, driving test general tips, and advice on dealing with nerves on the big day. Finally, it has tips for after you've passed your test, including vehicle maintenance and driving abroad. You can find a link to this book in the description below.